And our next guest is Matt from Tribe Toy, uh, lead designer and co-founder. Uh, Matt, for those who do not uh, necessarily know of your game, uh, can you tell us what Bout of Blood is? Sure. Uh, Bout of Blood, um, the player is a captain of an airship in a reality show. And uh, basically, they're flying their ship, you know, commanding the crew and uh, trying to manipulate their rivals, you know, plot betrayals, um, forge alliances in order to not get voted off as you they go throughout the season. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I've said this before on my channel, but uh, it's one of my favorite PSVR games, and it made my uh, top 15 games super awesome. If you Thank guys you. haven't checked it out, then uh, you need to check that game out. I uh, think... Uh, I think Borderlands meets uh, Star Trek Bridge Crew, but uh, you're the only one in control. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Matt, with the 3D rudder, um, obviously why we're all brought here together, can you explain, I guess, for us what kind of benefits the 3D rudder brings to Bout of Blood and I guess also uh, ultimately for the PSVR user? Sure, absolutely. Like, um, you know, uh, when 3D rudder approached us and um, uh, basically, like, People are, are very split, had been very split between, like, you know, liking the dual shot controller and liking the moves. Um, you know, a lot of people felt that the moves were better for aiming, better for commanding the crew, but, you know, they missed that, uh, that thumbstick for flying the ship. And, they, you know, and, uh, and uh, the 3D rudder is sort of like a thumbstick, you know, that you can use with your feet while, while you're, you know, using your hands and aiming with the moves and stuff like that. So I think that for players that uh, like playing Battle Blood with the moves, um, you know, the, the thumbstick really adds, or I'm sorry, the 3D rudder really adds that, you know, ability to fly your ship a little more naturally. Yeah, totally. I, and I, that's, uh, that's how I felt about it too. It's kind of the best of both worlds because I was definitely a move player. Um, I just, uh, I just loved being able to like freehand the gun and then, and all the, just all the ship, ship allocation uh, aspects too just felt more natural being able to do it with hands but it is a lot on the controllers when you're trying to uh, turn your ship uh, left and right to get the, the guns aimed and, and lower the shields from uh, attack and all that it just can be a lot when you're trying to manage resources and shoot incoming drones so yeah the uh, the 3d rudder seems like a, a natural fit to just get some of that off your hands so Matt uh, as far as 3d rudder implementation goes uh, how did you guys find the process you know from more of a technical standpoint I guess for developers that might be watching this uh, you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, you know, they sent us the, the rudder and uh, the actual implementation, I think, only took uh, us a few days. So, um, you know, a few days we had it up and running, and then it was all just about tuning the gameplay. Awesome. Yeah, that's kind of what we've been hearing. So that's uh, that's good news for uh, gamers and, and, and 3D rudder, I guess. Uh, question for you, though. Um, Foot-based controls in VR, they just seem to be... I th they seem to be a natural fit, not only for um, immersion and also, you know, gamers' sicknesses with just, you know, with movement, locomotion being uh, tied to the feet might make more sense for some people. Where do you see, I guess, foot controls going as we move into the future of VR? Do you see that being something that um, moves forward or just evolutionizes? Kind of what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I think it'll it'll continue. Like, I, the, for me, like having hands in VR is just, you know, an amazing experience, right? It's like <laughs> it just feels so natural, and uh, you know, being able to 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 kick and see your feet and like that's just the next step, right? Feeling like you're really walking, feeling like you're really, you know, being able to just turn by moving your body. You know, th those are all things that I think that, uh, um, you know will continue and like uh i think that, that you know the end goal is how do you walk forever right and like we all have limited space in our homes we all have like you know i, I know my vr room is not is you know not big enough right it, it needs to be much bigger and like but with foot controllers you know they can help bridge that gap and sort of make it you know so you can can like feel like you're walking even though um, you might not have the space and uh, I hope that continues to evolve and eventually we can walk in a straight line forever in our house and feel like we're really walking that'd be great 
Yeah, you you bring up a, a really good point there. I used to joke with friends because yeah, us in the VR world, um, we always want more immersion. So whatever peripherals, whatever devices that is. But I don't think people really want to be able to run and walk in games because I was joking with a friend <laughs> saying, can you imagine playing a Battlefield game and running for 10 minutes to get to A and then you get shot and you have to start all over again. By the time you actually got into battle, you'd be just sweating buckets. I don't think people really think that through. So I think the rudder definitely is probably more in line with where we're going to go <laughs> as far as that yeah. goes. And, and that brings me to my final question for you. Uh, I guess as a gamer, um, how have you found using the rudder with your game, with other games? I guess if you, do you have any experiences you can share with us? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's uh, like, I think one of the, the best things about it is just that you can fly while using your hands, right? And, like, you can sort of feel like you're leaning into the turns and feel like you're moving in that, you know, with your body. I think that, um, you know, it's a great first step toward, like, that kind of controller, and I, I'm sure they'll, you know, that the next iterations that they work on and everything else will be even better. So it, it's it's really fun, you know? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to use our rudders with <laughs> Bout of Blood, uh, easily one of my favorite PSVR games to date. And with that, uh, I'm going to bring the conversation over to Jason here and uh, discuss a little bit about our own personal experiences with Bout of Blood with the 3D rudder. Uh, for Battle Blood, actually, I never used to be able to play with the Move controllers. With the rudder, I actually was able to play with the Move controllers, too, as well. Um, it took me a second, because I was trying to fly the ship, and uh, I think I'd just come from playing a game where I was actually moving back and forth. And uh, basically, I just started going all over the place, but it took me, uh, took me a couple minutes. I got adjusted to it, then I was flying the ship around, grabbing the guns, shooting people getting close to me, and... Uh, yeah, it was great. I was actually able to fly around and do stuff. It was a it was a great experience for me, especially. How did, how did you feel um, in regards to like sensitivity? Do you feel like they had that dialed in? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was good too. So I didn't really have to do too much too. So it was very light in case uh, in case I was having a bad day. You know, what I mean, with the with the back and stuff like that, I could still play the game because it was super light and it's super easy to do. Um, so yeah, awesome. it definitely wasn't bad at all. It was, it was a great experience. Personally, I was actually surprised with how much I actually enjoyed the rudder. Um, like I said, I used the move controllers and uh, um, a bunch of uh, other tubers in our in our community um, seemed to be split down the middle. Some people were DS4s only and some people like swore by their move controllers. I love the moves. Like I said, lots to do on your hands, um, but I was still got very very competent with it but when i threw in the rudder i realized that i'd actually been leaning when i was playing the game anyways because you feel the giant movement of these of these huge airships which is my favorite thing about the whole game was that sense of this of the weight and when you're i found myself naturally leaning when i had the move with the rudder and uh it just made for a very very cool experience of feeling like you were really shifting weight with the ship uh, something that you wouldn't yes. necessarily have been as aware of, I think, when you were just using your hands. 